G'day YouTube, Ned here. You may remember my old video about the DIY $25 camping shower. And although that worked quite well, it had the downside of being only 4 litre container and no heating in it whatsoever. So you'd have to use a solar shower to warm up the water, pour it into the shower container, into the spray bottle, pump it up, and then you could shower for a little bit. It wasn't particularly long, but it did the job. So what I did is I hooked up a little pump to the heat exchanger in my radiator that normally a oil cooler or trans cooler would go to. And that's how I can now warm up my water using the hot radiator from the car. So here we have the car and the radiator. And down the bottom of the radiator you can see two fittings that go to the heat exchanger so they're just basically a radiator inside the radiator that you can pump hot oil through and it'll cool it with the radiator water but instead we'll use it to pump water through and we'll heat up the water from the radiator water so two plastic hoses they're just press fit on and then they run down the car and they come out down here and into a little bilge pump. So one of them goes into the inn and the other one just dangles in the water over there. And then there's a K-type thermocouple and we can measure the temperature of the water. That's in degrees Celsius, 16 degrees. Okay, now let's turn on the pump. Let's connect this to the battery. And let's start up the car and see how long it takes up to heat up this water. It's currently at 18 degrees. Not sure if you can see that on camera, but I'll keep you updated. And it's at about 1.30. Okay, it's been about five minutes and the car is finally starting to get up the temperature. It's uh, moved off cold. So we might finally start the water really start increasing in temperature shortly. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes now. The water temperature is up to 26.8, 26.9, 27 degrees. Just want to show that, I'm not sure if you can see, but the ambient temperature in Auckland today is 11 degrees Celsius. So it's not a nice day to be trying to warm up some water. But we're at 27 degrees, let's uh, get it a bit higher and see how long it takes. Just put the lid on to try and keep some of the warmth in and to stop the wind from cooling it down. See if that helps. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. The temperature's fluctuating a bit between 37 and 39 degrees. Not bad, it's definitely nice and warm. See the water coming out there. Water coming out is definitely quite warm. You could happily shower with that and it wouldn't be a problem. But well, it's, uh, it's 38 degrees now, let's get it up a bit. Apparently the magic number is 44.4 or 112 Fahrenheit, so let's see how long it takes to get there. Okay, it's been about 26 minutes or so, 25 minutes, if that. And we're now at 45, 46 Celsius. Oh, that's that's rather lovely. That's about 113, 114 Fahrenheit. This is fantastic shower temperature. So that required the car running for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. You might be wondering what you're going to do with just a bucket of warm water. You, you still need the shower power, right? Instead of going the DIY route, which I was planning on doing, I found this. So for the grand total of $30 or something New Zealand, 
you end up with this shower contraption here. So a similar deal, bilge pump, shower head with adjustable flow and put the same connector on it that I'm using for the pump. So if you plug this in, you don't need the pump anymore. Now we turn the switch on. It already was on. Then we now have an adjustable flow shower. So you can even turn it off. Oh, and that is fantastically warm. So that is uh, not quite as DIY as I wanted it to be, but this is definitely very usable, still very cheap. I think the whole thing cost me maybe 50 bucks. And I now have a proper warm shower whenever I want one. Granted, I have to wait 25 minutes. But now let's see what happens when the car's already warm and we want to heat up that same amount of water. That was 18 litres of water by the way. That is far more than enough to have a decent shower with. So let's empty this bucket, pour in some new cold water and try it again. So there we have it, another 18 litres of fresh water, 21 degrees C. Hook up the pump again and turn on the car. So we're five minutes in and we're at uh, 31 and a bit degrees Celsius, which is uh, 87, 88 Fahrenheit. If you had to, you could uh, you could shower with that water on a nice warm day. It would be nice and refreshing, but you'd probably want to wait a little bit longer. It's been 10 minutes and we just hit 40 degrees Celsius, which is 104 Fahrenheit. It's definitely be showerable. I would be happy with that. 10 minutes, pretty good. Okay, 12 minutes, that's how long it takes. We've hit the magical 112 Fahrenheit or 44.4 degrees C. It's 44.7, 44.6 now. So 12 minutes to heat up 18 litres of water to a very nice shower temperature. So 10 minutes seems like a pretty good time, 12 minutes means you can come home from going out for a day of activities, back to camp, fill your thing up with water, turn on the car, heat up 18 litres of water, get it nice and warm, and in the time it takes to heat up you can organise all of your clean clothes, showery things, and life's pretty good. It's uh, not a bad way to keep clean and feel refreshed at a campsite where you don't have access to warm water or showers. So obviously I'm quite lucky that I have a radiator with an unused heat exchanger in it. Uh, granted that's one that I put in myself, it's an upgrade for the upgraded motor that's in my car. So you might not be able to do the same but the radiator was rather cheap, about $100, $150 or so. Made for a nice upgrade, kept the car nice and cool while I was towing the teardrop and also gives me the ability to warm up some water. So I hope this helps anyone out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm really quite keen to hear what you guys think. Leave me some comments. And see you next time, thanks.